Welcome everyone to this Shrine Guide video here on the Proximus Gaming YouTube channel. My name is Michael and in this video the Ha Dahamar Shrine, also known as the Water Guides. In this video I will show you exactly how to reach this shrine and how to finish it when you get inside. I also show you where you can find all treasure chests. The Ha Dahamar Shrine is located within the middle part of the Jeweling Peaks region, specifically just west of the Jeweling Peaks stable. Let's go! It's easiest to start from the Jeweling Peaks stable. Just go out and the shrine is already there. Walk towards it. In order to get inside, we need to find ourselves a way over the Tawny Spikes. Use your Crayonis Rune to create a block of ice just before the Tawny Spines. Climb up and use your Paraglider to glide over them. Now, let's get inside. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Hadamar. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. The water guides, Ha the Hamar Shrine. Run forward towards the first waterfall. Use your Cryonis rune to create a block of ice. Jump on top of it and jump onto the next platform. Now use your Cryonis rune to create a way up the waterfall by placing blocks of ice on the waterfall itself and climb up slowly. If you like this guide, then please Give this video a thumbs up, that will help with the discoverability of this video a lot. And when you're there, don't forget to click the beautiful subscribe button and its bell, so you won't miss my future guides and other upcoming videos. I also stream games like Zelda on Twitch, link to my Twitch channel is in the description down below. When on top, there is a treasure chest. Open it and a purple rupee worth of 50 rupees is inside. Jump off the little platform back on the ice block. Then jump off and glide down. Continue the path and walk up the big stairs. When halfway, turn right and there is a small puzzle. The ball that is rolling down needs to be placed in the platform with a hole in it. Use your Crayonis rune in order to guide the ball. This is mainly trial and error but eventually you will manage to get it done. One ice block needs to be placed on top of the small triangle shaped platform. The second block of ice under the left part of the seesaw ramp. If you notice that the ball is not being guided correctly, adjust the first block of ice. The third block of ice can be placed as a bridge between the seesaw ramp and the platform with the hole in it. If the ball again is not guided correctly, replace the first block of ice until the ball is guided correctly. When the ball finally is guided down correctly and the ball is in the hole, walk down, turn left, the gate will open in order for you to continue. Turn right and there is the monk. Walk towards it and press A. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. Spirit Orb, a symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of a shrine. May the goddess smile upon you. You finished your next shrine. 
Great job! How many times did you have to reposition the first ice block in order to guide the ball correctly? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm really excited to hear. I hope to see you all next week in a new Shrine Guide video here on the Proximus Gaming YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and see you all next week in the new Shrine Guide video. This was Michael signing off. See ya.